Why order takeout when you can have a delicious keto sweet and sour chicken recipe that's also gluten-free at home that tastes just as good as the original. And to see more recipes like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell below. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a super easy and delicious keto sweet and sour chicken recipe that's also gluten-free and grain-free, so stick around. So to start, we're just gonna cut the chicken into about one inch cubes and then we're gonna bread them and fry them. And for the chicken, you can use chicken thighs or chicken breast. I personally prefer chicken thighs because I think they're a little bit more juicy and tender and they're cheaper, but you can use whichever one you prefer. For the breading, we're gonna use crushed pork rinds with blanched almond flour and sea salt. And if you have a nut allergy, you can use all pork rinds, but I do not recommend that you use all almond flour because the pork rinds are what make them crunchy uh, or crispy. And to crush the pork rinds, uh, all you do is you put them in a plastic bag and leave a little part of it open so air can get out so the bag doesn't explode. And I take a rolling pin and I just kind of get after it and smash it up. And the smaller the pieces are, the better they will stick to the chicken, so make them as small as you can. So the pork rinds are all crushed, so I'm gonna add just some almond flour and some salt and pepper to season the chicken. I can get it in here. And mix it up a little bit. So now that it's all mixed up, I'm just gonna add the chicken to the baggie to get, it, get everything nice and coated. Just get the chicken all added to the baggie and then we'll shake it up really well so all the chicken pieces are nice and coated with batter. Okay, so let's just get it all shook up real good and evenly coated. So now that the chicken is all covered with the breading, I'm gonna dredge it in these eggs that also has some carbonated water that's unflavored to make the, the breading extra like fluffy and light and airy. And so I dredge it in the egg mixture and I'm putting it in a, a pan of avocado oil. I have about maybe a quarter inch of avocado oil and I'm just gonna fry it on both sides till it's nice and brown and crispy. And just a note that you don't want to overcrowd the skillets. If you put a whole bunch of chicken in the skillet, they won't fry up well and get crispy. And so you might need to do it in a couple batches. And if you do more than two batches, you're gonna need to start with some fresh oil. Okay, so now that the chicken is all fried up and crispy, we just put it in this large baking dish and then we need to make the sauce. So for the sauce, we need sweetener since it's sweet and sour chicken. And I'm using a xylitol, but you can, you can really use any keto sweetener, but remember if you use an erythritol based sweetener that they don't dissolve really well and they can sometimes leave an aftertaste. So for sauces, I really prefer xylitol or allulose, but feel free to use whatever you have on hand. So I have the sweetener, um, sugar-free ketchup, vinegar, you can use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, either one, coconut aminos, and this is basically just soy sauce that is soy and gluten-free, but if you just wanna use uh, gluten-free soy sauce, that would be fine also. Uh, garlic powder, and a little bit of sea salt. So we'll just mix this together really well, and we will pour it over our chicken. Okay, so we're gonna just take our sauce and pour it over the chicken, stir it up really well, and we're gonna bake it at 325 degrees for an hour, and we're gonna stir it every 15 minutes. And then we'll just serve it over some cauliflower rice, and it's gonna be so, so delicious. Okay, I'll see you back here after this bakes for an hour. So sweet and sour chicken just came out of the oven and it looks absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna serve it on top of some cauliflower rice here. Oh yeah, it looks nice and crispy and the 
Sauce looks yummy. And now I'm gonna sprinkle on a little, a couple of green onions. They got a really pretty color and flavor. Looks so good. Hmm. Yeah. Just like the restaurant.